Alexei Navalny, an outspoken critic of Vladimir Putin, poisoned this summer, according to the German government, is up, awake, and strong enough to give a two-and-a-half-hour interview to a Russian blogger. In the interview, Navalny accused Putin's intelligence agents of trying to assassinate him. The assassins that use chemical weapons are specially trained people. On direct orders from Putin, he says. He broke down what he thinks happened. Before boarding a flight from Siberia to Moscow in August, Navalny drank tea. His aides initially thought the poison was there. Now Navalny suspects the poison was likely planted in his hotel room in Siberia, later searched by his staff. Navalny says the poison may have been smeared onto his clothing or a coat hanger or in a free bottle of water. Wherever it was, once the flight took off, Navalny grew weak, moaning. The pain, hard to pinpoint, everywhere. He says he thought he was dying and credits the pilot and first responders for saving him. My hands shake, he said. If I drink water out of a bottle, I do it like that. I'm getting better each day. Navalny was transferred to Germany, where toxicologists concluded he was poisoned with Novichok, a Soviet-era chemical weapon. Other of Putin's opponents have been shot, fallen from windows, or poisoned by a radioactive isotope. The Kremlin denies poisoning Navalny or any of Putin's critics.